everybody, welcome to Pinoy Crossover, Filipinos talking basketball. Here with my co-host, we got Marky Mark with the scarf. A lot of patterns going on there, man. It's nice, man. You okay. got a plaid and you got some nice, some, I don't know what this is. It's nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We got James, yo. Oh, back again. That is right. JR Second is probably in. snowed in. It's icy out there, so stay safe if you're driving. But let's talk about basketball. The NBA All-Star Reserves have been named. So I'll just say their names out loud. We'll start with the West, and then let me hear your thoughts, okay? We got Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, Nikol Nikola Jokic, Clay Thompson, Carl Anthony Towns, Lamarcus Aldridge, and Damian Lillard. Do you agree with the reserves, or... Is there any people that you wish were on the reserve list? Let's start with... For the West? Yeah, for West. Let's go start with you, James. Um, I, I don't know about Carl Anthony Towns. I think uh, it should be Donovan Mitchell. Because what he did last year with Utah Jazz is something different that mm -hmm. they, you know. So I think it should be Donovan Mitchell or even um, Gobert just to have a, someone to participate in the Western All-Star for Utah Jazz. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You, you like the Utah, huh? I agree in that. I, yeah. It's so hard in the West just because there's so many talented teams. And, and, I mean, the fact that every team is so close in the playoffs, they're all just between one or two, one and a half games behind each other. Yeah, exactly. You can have a week where you lose two games, three games in a row, and you're all of a sudden out of the playoffs. So it's really hard to predict. But, I mean, Davis is having an amazing season. Jokic should have been a starter, so first of all. So he shouldn't even be in the reserve conversation. Um, Lillard, I think so as well. McCollum could have been there too. It's yeah. it's a close call between the two. So hard with the West. It's hard. Way. It's hard to yeah. pick. Like who do you take out? I mean, uh, even on uh, on the Spurs, like it, it could have been either DeRozan or Lamarcus, one or the other. You could have taken in, in Utah. You could have had uh, Donovan or Gobert. But you, they should have had one one at least player from Utah Jazz is playing well, and I, I would. I would have been okay if it was Donovan, but I, I like Gobert just because he's more consistent yeah. this season. I would have liked to he's see him there. He's been there for a while too for yeah. the Utah Jazz. So. I would have loved to see him there. The only thing that's, uh, even though I'm a big Warriors fan, uh, maybe to me Clay was kind of a questionable one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're having a great season, but they didn't have a season that they had when they won 73 games. So when they had 73 games, they had literally all the players, you know, in the All-Star game. So, but this year, I think two would have been reasonable amounts of Durant and Steph. Uh, so I would have been okay if Clay was not in there and you would have had... Don't you think more. that's hard because he kind of beat the uh, most three points in the season? It's game? it's it's tough, but it's just that yeah, it's you, got, you got to look at how deep the West is. <laughs> the West yeah. is just the a West is so animal, deep, yeah. and exactly. and you needed to at least have one Jazz player that mm -hmm. was in there. I mean, you could have argued at least one more um, Denver player could have been there. I mean, Jamal Murray's Jamal having a great yeah. season, exactly. so that's because you know Warriors and then the Denver's right against each other. Yeah. So why not have two players? Because what the Warriors mm -hmm. had two players. Yeah. And then why not also in Denver because they're having a great season too. So you would have been okay for if you would have substituted Clay, Clay for someone else, and then you yeah. would have substituted Carl because of the record they have right mm -hmm. now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's move on to the East. Ooh, we got some rap. We got a Raptor in here, obviously. <laughs> we got Bradley Beal, Blake Griffin, Kyle Lowry, Chris Middleton, Victor Oladipo, Ben Simmons, and Nikola Vucevic. Mm -hmm. You agree with everything, or do you wish someone was on the reserves that wasn't named? No, I. I yeah. mean, uh, there's probably going to be somebody now that has to replace Victor Oladipo. Sorry mm -hmm. about, to hear about his injury. So that for sure, we're going to need another player in there. It's all a matter of who is going to be chosen for that spot. And and it's it's kind of tough because in the West, in the there's a lot of talent, but in the East, it, it's pretty much doggy dog. Um, John Wall could have had and he was having a good season before he was having the injury. But I would say an, a Raptor, but just. Just because <laughs> I'm just biased about the Raptors. <laughs> like, just because, because there's Raptors just because, here, right? Just in the jersey. Front. I mean, yeah. Ibaka's having a great season, and Siakam is just having... Both of them are having such a great season. Uh, and you can't just deny the fact that you know, most improved player could, could be Siakam. He's a top. Mm -hmm. And he's a big part of why they are, because a lot of players have missed time. Like, Lowry, Kawhi has missed a lot of time. And it's been injury plague for a lot of their bigs as well and their yeah. guards. And he's been the most consistent. So if I were to choose Willie Siakam, could have been that replacement for uh, for Oladipo. Mm -hmm. And do you agree with that, or is there someone uh, else coming for to me? Your mind? I want to replace Vucevic. Okay. For the last four or five years, Orlando is. But he's been so consistent. Yeah, that's the thing about him. He's really good. Yeah. But he's this team is really 
irrelevant. Yeah. You don't, like he could be he could be the best player in the worst team. Mm-hmm. Because but you can, you have it's to basically be, yeah. the same as if Davis is doing you know he's yeah, putting yeah, yeah. up monster stats, yeah, that makes sense. consistent yeah, that makes sense. stats, and then yeah. w- but then they're not going Who anywhere. Would you switch with? Vuj- yeah. But I'd rather yeah. have D'Angelo over Vucevic. Yeah, for sure, they're six and yeah. they're like they're. So for some reason this is D'Angelo coming out party. Mm-hmm. So it's either him or Siakam or Derrick Rose for MIP. Mm-hmm. So the most improved player, but yeah. who knows? Who knows? Because yeah. with uh, right now everything with every award is a tight race for everything yeah. right now. So yeah. I would say D'Angelo because of what he did to Brooklyn. Yeah, uh, Bro- <laughs> Brooklyn is r- relevant now. Uh, way after the Boston trade. Mm-hmm. So right now I would say D'Angelo. Yeah. Yeah. D'Angelo is deserving too. I, yeah. I agree with that. Um, I mean, if we don't factor out the Old Depot um, injury, if let's say Old Depot's there, yeah. the probably person that I would say could have been replaced is um, not Vucevic, but also I don't know about Blake. Like yeah. Blake is, yeah. he's just um, yeah. he doesn't have it. He doesn't have the same feel as when he was in the Clippers. He just you have know? that fans, the yeah. loyal fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he does, it's not as he doesn't feel the same to me. Um, but it's. Detroit, they have to have somebody. Even they're not having a great season mm-hmm. as well, right? So let's look at the All Star game, I guess, as a weekend. Yeah. You've heard of the Steph Curry brothers kind of competing. Is there anything mm-hmm. that you're looking forward to, like the competitions or mm-hmm. any moments that you're looking forward to? I mean, the Curry brothers gonna shoot out against each other. That that I want to see. But I want I will, I'll be more. I will, I want to see Dirk beat them all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to, just to close it all out. Like, there, yeah. there you go. This, this is, is how I'm going to close out my season. Yeah. And this is how I'm going to go down as uh, beating the both Curry brothers for yeah. the three-point shoot. As much as I like Steph, yeah. Yeah. that'd be fun to see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And anything for you, James? Uh, probably the USA versus World. Mm. I just want to see Ben Simmons to shoot three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This might be the only time he'll try yeah, because maybe. he won't yeah. be recorded if you yeah. think about it. That's the only time yeah. I want to see him like shoot three because yeah. every time I get so annoyed like even watching him as a Sixers fan not yeah. shooting a three or mm. a jump shot. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a compilation also on YouTube of his missed three yeah. <laughs> which, which shows how, how much time people have on their Yeah, hands I just want to yeah. see him make one. Yeah. Yeah. He only attempted one this whole career yet yeah. mm-hmm. and it was like a heave from the half court because he was just running out of the buzzer. So, yeah. or actually, it was yeah. a pass. Yeah. It was an alley oop pass. Yeah. But it hit the rim, oh. so they counted it as a three pointer. <laughs> so that that was the only three that he actually see, attempted, which was an alley oop pass yeah. and accidentally hit the rim. Yeah. At least so. he sticks with his yeah. strengths, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That's gonna be interesting, though. I think with the, the world versus the uh, U.S. Just yeah. because of the fact that. Um, the, the world team now is very talented. Like Simmons is in yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, Mark is going to be in there too. A lot of Luka Doncic is yeah. going to be there too. Mm-hmm. So that's some interesting international players compared yeah, to the 20 US. years ago, you won't see that. No. Yeah. This, this is a different why. game. Like, yeah. It's grown now. Before yeah. it was talking, it was rookie. Yeah.